For many travelers, this will be the first spring va break vacation in over two years. And booking data from travel companies suggests it will also be one of the busiest in recent years. So where can last minute planners go? Well, travel expert Janine Tornator joins us with some unexpected ideas that are both affordable and less crowded than some of the typical places. Because that's what I think a, little pe a lot of people are yeah. like, yes, get me out, but I don't know where but, I want to go. But I should have booked back in October right. kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And there are places you can go that are a little more unexpected where you can still get away have some warm weather and still find some availability and deals. So the first place I want to start with is in Colorado, but it's not one of the typical places you would think of. You know, the ski resorts are really busy, busy this year. Right. Sure. This is on the western side of Colorado. It's a place called Grand Junction, Colorado. Yes. And what is so cool about it is it's actually a dual climate destination. So this time of year in town, in Grand Junction, you get these nice warm desert um, temperatures. But just 30 minutes outside of town, you can go to Powderhorn Ski Resort and do all the winter mountain activities. Oh, um, there's just so much to do here. Um, you can have a two helmet day. You can go skiing in the morning, go mountain biking in the afternoon. They oh, have all cool these famous mountain that? biking trails. They have the Colorado National Monument where you can go winter canyoneering, hiking. There's guided tours. Um, they also have, you saw, a preserve with wild mustangs. Yeah. And uh, my favorite is that Food and Wine magazine actually calls it the new Sonoma because Ooh, it's cool. full of these beautiful vineyards. They have all kind of great uh, dining experiences. So all around, this is a great one, not just for spring break, but if, if you're thinking about summer, too. I'd put this on your list. Do you go into Denver or do you go into Grand Junction? You can fly into Denver. It's about a four hour drive from Denver, oh, okay. but Grand Junction actually has the third largest airport oh, in wow. Colorado, so you wow. can get directly in there. That's oh, fantastic. Yep. All right. Yep. Uh, the next one, I love this town already, Charleston. It's so beautiful. Yeah, so I kind of put a combo on here of Hilton Head Island because a lot of people right. want the, you know, the beach. Um, but, you know, if you base yourself in Hilton Head, you could go north a couple hours to get to Charleston or south an hour and get to Savannah. And I love Hilton Head this time of year because you get that beach escape, but it is not crowded. Their big time comes when all the summer vacationers come. Yeah. Mm. There's great um, resorts, places like the West and Hilton Head Island Resort and Spa that have great availability so you can really have that relaxing experience. So pretty. And you're right, and you can get that fun like southern hospitality kind of in town at places like Charleston. My family loves things like the ghost tours. Yeah, you can do it night too. there. There Me are a lot too. of really fun and things you can do. And this is a historic town as well, so yeah. you can see a lot of history. Absolutely, a lot of history. You know, you have the cobblestone streets, you have the city market, um, and a lot of fun tours and different things you can do there. All right, so I know a lot of people are relocating from Chicago to Houston, yeah. and you also say it's a great uh, travel destination. Well, I think Texas is overlooked as one of those warm weather destinations. The temperatures are fantastic yeah. this time of year, and I love Houston, um, fourth largest city, but it's a great family destination. Their museum district is amazing. There's great theme parks right outside town, so great outdoor activities right outside of town. Um, you have uh, things like a Bay Area Houston where you have Battleship Texas that you can explore. They have a boardwalk there. Um, all around, it's a great city. Uh, not to mention you have um, Space Center Houston, so all oh, the cool oh, NASA that, things yeah. there. Cool. Yeah, and you just saw actually the Marriott Marquis, which is I think that's it's pretty cool. cool. You get, it's the largest Texas-shaped lazy so river funny. in the world, and it's right in the city. So you kind of get that resort experience right in the heart of the city there. Yeah, So I the love last it. one you got, I wouldn't think of for spring breaks, I thought it would be too busy, but Fort Lauderdale is a good one? Well, look, I wanted to put a Florida destination okay. on here, because I think a lot of people still want to get to places like Florida. Yeah. And what I like about Fort Lauderdale, I actually found flights under $250 wow. over those spring break weeks that we have. Um, and you have great properties, places like the W Fort Lauderdale right in downtown um, Fort Lauderdale, the Ritz Carlton. So if you want that luxury experience, you can still find availability there. But I like it because you have really Fort Lauderdale Airport, Miami International, yes. and West Palm. So mm -hmm. if you're thinking you want a big, big beach destination, look at those places where you can actually have different airports to choose from. That's mm -hmm. where you're going to find the best options at this point. And you want to stay away from Miami because that's where all the kids are. That's where all the kids are. <laughs> so go a little bit north of there. Lots of great family activities actually around Fort Lauderdale. Mm. The other thing I wanted to mention about flights is at this point, you really need to look at flying midweek. Most spring breakers leave on Saturdays and Sundays, right? Your kids get done with school on Friday and yep. you head out right at the weekend. So Monday through Thursday is at this point where you're going to find the best deals for flights. Yeah. And I don't think you would have to wring the kids' arms to get them out of school a day or two early. <laughs> so that, that. I, we leave two days early because you do, if you want to find those deals, Deals, you have to be a little bit flexible. So, yeah. you know, I know a lot of parents we're leaving on do Monday. that. Yeah. yeah, so we're leaving a little later, but because of the same thing, yes. cheaper flights. Yes. Okay, all Ooh. right. Well, yeah. hey, there, there you go, Janine. Great ideas yeah. and great advice. Some I great love tips. It. Thank you, Janine. My as pleasure. always, good. And you can find Janine's uh, information there, social media handles, as well as her website, theoutsideinsider.com. Thanks so much.